2018 Toyota 4Runner Review When you were looking at leaving the beaten path, few mid-size SUVs match ail the Toyota 4Runner. The Toyota 4Runner is surely an SUV within the traditional sense, which has a body and frame construction plus a solid rear axle such as a pickup truck. It is on the list of last SUVs built by doing this doing it the rugged capability that made this form of vehicle attractive inside first place. While serviceable as being a daily driver, the forerunner is home on adverse terrain. Off-road prowess derives from its high ground clearance and available hardware such as being a locking rear differential, low-range gearing and Toyota's Trick Kinetic Dynamic Suspension System KDSS. The latter includes special stabilizer bars that automatically conform to allow for greater wheel travel and for that reason traction in off-road driving situations. An available third row expands seating capability 7 for the expense of some cargo space and versatility. But really, avoid getting a forerunner if you simply need a mal crawler or family taxi. In that case, you can find better choices including Toyota's Highlander. But the Forerunner is one of many few vehicles left from your traditional SUV mold, that is something to comprehend if you need a vehicle for frequent off-road weekend excursions. Notably, we pick the 2018 Toyota Forerunner as one of best mid-size SUVs just for this year. What's new? The 2018 Toyota 4Runner features a few different choices packages, but otherwise carries over from this past year unchanged. Because the price of the 4Runner lies predominantly in the off-road capabilities, the TRD Off-Road Premium. This trim gives having access to important hardware like the locking rear differential and KDSS, these of which improves every area of the 4Runner's skills. The premium section of the name means it's got comfort features, including heated front seats, easy clean vinyl upholstery, heated power outside mirrors with an auto dimming rear view mirror. Trim levels and features The 2018 Toyota 4Runner is usually a mid size SUV accessible in six trim levels SA5, SA5 Premium, TRD Off Road, TRD Off Road Premium. TRD Pro Unlimited. All share the identical 4.0 litre V6 270 horsepower, 278 pound feet of torque, 5 speed automatic transmission, and 5,000 comma pound tow. SA5 and Limited models are easily obtainable in rear wheel drive or four wheel drive configurations and two or three row seating configurations. The remaining trim levels are formed only in seat 5. A low-range transfer case turns on four WD versions with the SR5, TRD Off-Road and TRD Pro trim levels. The SR5 would be the base model however it's not bare bones. Standard features includes skid plates, fog lights, a rear view camera, an energy liftgate includes an energy rear window, 17-inch wheels, keyless entry, power adjustable front seats. 402040 split reclining and folding second row seats, a leather wrapped controls, along with a 120 volt power outlet inside rear cargo area. The standard infotainment system has a 6 dot 1 inch touch screen, 8 speakers, a USB port and satellite radio. Stepping around TRD off road adds a locking rear differential. 17 inch wheels that happen to be 0.5 inch wider compared to SR5S, as well as a call control function. The interior wears additional TRD badging, along with the overhead console gains switches for controlling off road settings. The KDSS feature is optional. Premium variants with the SR5 and TRD off road get power adjustable and heated outside mirrors. Simulated leather upholstery, heated front seats, navigation, plus an auto dimming rear view mirror. Serious soft roaders must look into the TRD Pro, which begins with the TRD Off Road Premium and adds revised front springs, B 
Bill Steen dampers with rear remote reservoirs, special all-terrain tires as well as a front skid plate. Limited models top the forerunner range and they are more luxury oriented. These models get yourself a Torsen locking center differential 4x4 models only, an outside suspension system Toyota calls Xrees that's built to reduce roll without adversely affecting ride quality, including a host of features to restore better suited to on-pavement use, 20-inch wheels, a sunroof, dual zone climate control, parking sensors, leather seat upholstery, heated and ventilated front seats plus a 15-speaker JBL stereo audio. Power deploying running boards are optional. Trim tested. Each vehicle typically will come in multiple versions, although trim levels share many aspects. The S on this review provide our full test in the 2014 Toyota 4Runner Trail 4.0L V6, 5-speed automatic, 4WD. Note, since this test was conducted, the latest Forerunner has gotten very few changes beyond minor changes in feature content and trim levels. Our findings remain broadly applicable to this particular year's Forerunner. Driving The Forerunner trails off-road nature dominates what performs. The traditional body on frame construction provides ruggedness and clearance but adds weight that ends up with modest cornering braking and acceleration limits. The off-road performance that Forerunner buyers seek is fantastic. Acceleration The 4.0-litre V6 has got the Forerunner around 60 miles per hour in 8.1 seconds, which results in easy freeway merging and decent climbing power up long grades. It's not the best engine in side class, however it does the work. Braking the Forerunner's brakes have sufficient stopping power, especially in terms of initial bite. But this brings along with it a notable level of nose dive. Panic stops have to have a few extra feet in comparison with more modern crossovers. Steering The steering is usually a bit slow to reply but predictable, plus it offers reasonable feel in corners. Straight ahead driving, in contrast, feels murky, and now we sometimes thought it was necessary to make sizable corrections reacting to road imperfections and side winds. Handling It's stable in corners but doesn't want to be rushed due to the weight and high center of gravity. The optional KDSS Auto Disconnect Stabilizer has a larger and repel body lean better versus the standard setup. Drivability Throttle fact is smooth and progressive, along with the 5-speed automatic transmission shifts seamlessly. It would be better with another gear to select from. Comfort A forerunner comes with a reasonable combination of comfort that's not out of line using its overall mission or its struck base routes. Not as comfy since the typical crossover. But no person looking just for this kind of rugged capability must be surprised by that. Seat Comfort The seats have a very decent shape and selection of adjustment, even so the padding could might be more generous plus the seat bottoms are short. Overall comfort is a useful one but stops well in short supply of what we'd call excellent. Ride Comfort The ride isn't firm but there is usually a fair little truck-like shake in the body movement. Instead of crashing over bumps, our forerunner tended to jostle about lazily reacting to road imperfections. Noise and vibration Fears good isolation of road noise most on the time, even so the squarish shape isn't particularly skilled at quelling wind noise. Interior Nicely light out dash and instrument panel the large cargo hold is very functional, as well as the seating area is sufficiently roomy. Easy to climb to send and receive if you can handle the step up height. Ease people. Switch gear is logical and to use, however the Intune navigation screen is small. The overhead off-road controls are the ideal use of space. Getting and jetting out. 
an extra three inches of step-up height compared to crossovers matches the territory by having an off-road biased SUV like this. Front and rear access offer a similar experience, the optional side step covers both. The doors open nice and wide. Roominess. There's an abundance of front head and leg room for tall folks, though we have to note the trail does not use a sunroof. The rear seats offer similar headroom. There are a little less legroom back there, but six footers still fit. Visibility. Easy to view over the hood and look for the front corners. Rear visibility is surprisingly good straight to back and it is further enhanced with a backup camera, though the rear quarters develop the usual SUV blind spots. Quality. The new Forerunner has tight gaps outside with an attractive interior. The fabric seats are grippy, an easy task to clean and good looking. Utility. Great cargo area versatility especially with the optional sliding cargo tray, including a variety of storage options inside the cabin. Small item storage. Plenty of little nooks in dash along with a decent console bin glove box and door pockets. Cargo space. The rear seat backs fold flat, plus it's simple to pack the sizable cargo hold simply because of its squarish shape. One staffer actually tossed a sleeping bag back there and spent the night time.